Welcome or welcome back to my channel, all of my beautiful kitties. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. And if you are interested in seeing how I created these floral nails here, please go ahead and check the description box. I will leave the link down below. Um, today, we're going to go ahead and get into some PR unboxing from a new nail tip brand off of Amazon. They reached out to me and asked me if I would like to try out their nail tips. Now, they do have a range of different sizes. Um, I believe they're all in the short size, um, but they do have a different um, like shapes and stuff. And I'll go ahead and put the product information for this one up in the left hand corner for you. So these are, um, I believe that they are plastic tips. Um, they come in this cute little case. The brand is June Code. I really like the little like sticker label on the box. I love the little flower in the background. And so these are the nail tips. They come on one of those like, um, like the plastic, I don't know how to call that, that you see right here though. Um, and just before we start trying these on, I do want to point out that I do have a thin layer of acrylic on my right hand. Um, so these nail tips did not exactly quite fit my nails properly, but that's because I did have that layer of acrylic on. Um, just because I had like a little bit of some anxiety. Um, and I did end up popping all my nails off. I haven't done that in a really long time, but it did end up happening. So my right hand is kind of a mess. Um, so I have been putting a thin layer of acrylic over them just to kind of protect them until they can grow out again and regain some of their strength because they are incredibly thin right now for me ripping off my nails. But pretty much um, they are pre-etched. They have the numbers on them so that you can tell what your size is and I really like the fact that they're pretty strong but they're also very flexible in the cuticle area which is fantastic for me because um, I do not like when full cover nail tips are tight on my nail beds it's very uncomfortable and I do not like that feeling um, but today before we go ahead and apply these nail tips i am going to do a peel off base coat um i'm using the one from unt and um it's just the one that i have and that's been working for me and then i am going to also use my born pretty nail lamp and the five in one glue so we already have our base coat on and we're going to go ahead and apply these nails i did end up picking out all of my sizes and here you're just going to see me trying them on um now like i said i do have a thin layer of acrylic on my nails so i'm pretty sure that that's why the nail tips um did not quite fit also these are um like smaller uh, size nail tips they are on the smaller size so if you have really wide nail beds um i don't think that these would work for you um, if you have little short stubby nail beds like I do or just very small fingers um, I think that these would be perfect also like I said these are short nail tips they did come out to be like more of a medium on my nails but that is also because I do have very short nail beds um, those of you that have longer nail tips um, like you know your nail bed on the tip of your fingers these will probably be exactly a short but on me because my nail beds are so small i was lucky and um if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that i never really do short nails so i was kind of happy that they ended up coming out to a medium length even though i did pop them off um i just don't feel like short nails are flattering to um you know the shape and you know like size of my hands and fingers um, you know, I did do a lot of manual labor in my life and I do have some very rough um, I wouldn't say stubby fingers, but they're definitely like very strong fingers. Don't let the little chunky monkeys fool you um, But you know some of us have beautiful slender fine fingers and then some of us have snossages and I'm definitely a snossage girl so the first thing I wanted to do before applying the nail and I'm sorry that I'm a little bit out of focus here but I just wanted to remove the little tag from the tip of the nail from removing it from the 
um, main part that they were connected to. And then I'm just filing, as you can see here, the sides of the nail where I need to remove some of the width so that they can properly fit my fingers with the acrylic. Now they are pre-etched on the inside, so I didn't do anything to the inside of the nail tip, but I do like to blend the top of the cuticle area um, down, kind of like thin it into a slant more so that it looks a little bit more natural um, when placing it on my nail. I don't really like the look of like press-ons. I, I like to make it look a little bit more natural. So I'm pretty much just gonna do the same thing to all of the nails. Um, this was very easy. It is a very easy material to file. Um, I would say use a soft hand file for this part. Um, like I did, I used a 150 grit file because the plastic is um, a little bit on the softer flexible side. So now we're going to go ahead and apply the nail tips. And this was just me reminding you that I did have a layer of acrylic. Um, which also kind of was a pain in the butt to apply the nails with the nail glue. I did get some air bubbles, but that has absolutely nothing to do with the, uh, the nails themselves. Um, that's just because the acrylic that I had on my fingers was not filed perfectly smooth. Um, so it did, not only did it give more width, uh, like thickness to my nail, which altered the shape, but it did also create little pockets on the surface of the nail. Um, so that's the only thing that I can say, but that has absolutely nothing to do with the nail tips. I actually really liked the shape of these. Um, and like I said, they were very, very comfortable because of how flexible they were. Um, I think it really just did have to do with the acrylic. So pretty much how I apply these is I put some gel on the nail itself. Then I put some of the glue gel on the inside of the nail tip. And then I like to slide it into my nail bed. This usually helps me prevent air bubbles. But again, like I said, the acrylic. Um, the ring finger here did end up turning out a little bit crooked, but as you'll see in a couple minutes, I did kind of fix that a little bit with some filing. Um, and honestly, I really liked the way these looked. They were a cute little coffin shape. Um, I really liked the, like the Scoville kind of shape of them, but with the coffin tip. They were very comfortable. Um, they were very easy to apply. And then after doing the nail glue in the mini lamp, I do like to just put my hand in the big lamp for 30 seconds. Make sure that the nails are absolutely cured to my natural nail. Excuse me. Um, and like I said here, I'm going in with a 150 grit file from Young Nails. And I am just bringing in the sides a little bit, just shaping them a slight bit more to my liking. Um, especially the ring finger. I did need to bring it in on one of the sides to kind of fix the crookedness. And then I did go ahead and give them a light buffing. And I really liked the way that the nails looked after they were buffed and cleaned. Um, you'll see in a moment here what I'm talking about. It had a really nice texture and the gel polish applied to them so smoothly and I did not use any base coat or anything like that. So now I'm going in with a lint-free wipe and some rubbing alcohol with a little bit of acetone mixed into it. And I am just cleaning the surface of the nail just to make sure that there is no debris in the cuticle area or on the sides that would bother the polished application. And as you can see here, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the nail tips, they have like a really fantastic texture after having buffed them. I really, really liked it. And as you'll see when I'm applying the gel polish, it went on so smoothly. Um, I really, really enjoyed these nail tips and I'm really hoping that they come out with some longer ones because I would love to try those out as well. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty much the whole application. Very simple and straightforward. Now, not everybody uses uh, gel glue. If you use nail glue, I know that your application process will be different. Personally, I don't like to use nail glue when putting on press-ons or full cover nails. I just, I don't like to do that. I, I prefer to use gel glue. I just, for me personally, I feel like it lasts longer. 
And now I'm just going in with a shade from Rosalind. It is a very beautiful, beautiful pinky opal color. And as you can see, the gel polish went on super smooth. Please um, forgive my sloppy application of the gel polish. I am using my left hand to do this. Um, and as you know, I am right-handed. Well, I mean, if you've watched my videos before, you know I am right-handed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply two coats of this to all of the nails. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna come back in and look at the finished product. So if you are interested in these nails, um, I don't remember if they gave me a discount code or not. I will have to go back and check. If they did, it will be down in my description box below. So please go ahead and take a look at that as well as any other discount codes that I have. Um, I do have one for a couple other brands. And this is what the finished nails are looking like. I think that these tips are super comfortable, flexible. I love the shape. They're great quality for the price. Um, I do not think that they're very flattering for my finger shape, but that of course is not their fault that I have snossages for fingers. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this product. And if you guys want to go ahead and check them out, I will leave the physical link for them down below in the description box. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, June Code. And please be kind to yourself, be kind to others. And I hope that you will like and subscribe and join me for more videos in the future.